Hello and welcome. My name is Amuli and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create child theme of WordPress 2020 default theme, which is awesome theme if you just can customize it. So we are going to create a child theme of this 2020 theme and customize it a little. So this is my website so i've just created this 20 child which is a child theme of this parent theme which is 2020 now this is how it looks like so and the customization that i've done i'm quickly going to show you so just go full screen and here you can see so this is a blog page and i've customized like this i've added this read more button and the other thing is uh, if a post doesn't have a thumbnail of its own I'm going to display a default thumbnail like this so there's a second customization the third customization I've created a separate template for this list post list uh, view and I'm using that so that's basically three customization that we are going to do so let's go ahead and create a child theme and then I'm quickly going to show you how you can do it alrighty so let's get started so now I've got uh, this WordPress installed locally as well if you haven't got your WordPress installed locally this is really good in case if you want to just test a few things locally and then want to implement it on your the website then this is right strategy in case if you want to install wordpress locally go ahead and watch a video on my channel how to install wordpress locally on windows and so you can see you've got this wordpress installed and this is 2020 default theme and a lot of people like to use it because this gives you the best of you know wordpress theme creation by wordpress team itself if you can customize it to your requirement alrighty so uh, here is the theme that I've just created and now if I go ahead and check it so it's the same thing that I'm running on my web uh, website the blog and this is how it looks like so if I go on to this blog page I've got this read more button but on this local theme I have not implemented that uh, if a blog post doesn't have um, its own thumbnail then we can display a default thumbnail so I'm going to display that thumbnail the default thumbnail in this local or newly created child theme so let's go ahead and do it so very first thing what's there okay so I'm going to open the themes directory now so you go ahead and get into your Apache wherever it is if you're using uh, XAMPP or MAMP go to htdocs and then go to the directory where you have installed your WordPress and then go to this themes okay so from here so let's do it from here so hit the hit this is where I've got my WordPress installed now you go to WP content then themes and here you just have to create a folder so when you're going to create a folder for your child theme there are a few things that you need to do keep in mind okay so very first thing is you do not leave spaces while creating a child theme or any theme so you can see these are themes that WordPress developed in past and you can see they do not have any spaces in the name when it comes to naming a theme so similarly you have to create a folder name like this I'm going to name it my child theme and this folder has nothing so you simply have to create a folder 
like this and name whatever you want do not leave any spaces in between right so my folder is already created my child theme and what I'm going to do I'm going to open this folder in my preferred uh, editor you can use code you can use sublime text any IDE of your choice so I'm going to get into my child theme and then I'm going to say sub and it's going to open my uh, this my child theme folder now I can go ahead and close it now to create a child theme there are two uh, file that we need to create the very first one is style dot CSS and we are going to inherit the template from parent themes so the very first thing that you need to do here is simply say theme name like that and do not again leave spaces in between the name of child theme word so I'm gonna say simply my oops, child theme like that the other thing that you need to say is templates so the template that you're going to inherit from okay so it's going to be parent name of the parent theme so it's going to be 20 that's it that's it okay that's the minimum now if you go ahead and check the dashboard and themes section here under appearance you will see it says my child theme however if I go ahead and activate it and visit the site it doesn't inherit the styles and scripts okay so to inherit the styles and scripts we need to enqueue it so to enqueue it we need to simply create a functions.php file and here we need to inherit the or basically enqueue the parent styles and scripts so to do so I have something here I've already created a theme I'm going to quickly copy from there oops and then I'm going to say 20 child I guess yeah I'm going to quickly open that particular folder okay so what I'm going to do I should have opened this in code so that I can copy so visual studio code that's another text editor I have here I'm going to this functions dot PHP and this is what it says NQ scripts and styles from parent theme so these are two lines that we need to copy from here or you can just pause the video and type it yourself if you wish to that's perfectly fine and just paste it over here I'm sorry about this and if I go ahead and refresh it it's going to pull up all the styles and scripts from the parent theme and it's working just like the parent theme so other th other reason why people like to create child theme there so that they can uh, customize the theme and whenever there is an update from WordPress theme development team your customization will not be changed during the uh, theme updation or upgration okay so that's the very first reason why people like to create a child theme and customize it so it doesn't go only with the WordPress themes it it goes with any paid or free themes okay uh, whenever there is an update for a particular theme and you want if in case if you update it or upgrade it it's going to put everything to its default okay so your styles customizations 
are going to be removed completely so this is why people like to create a child theme and then customize it now so we have created this uh, this child theme let's go ahead and uh, customize it so a few customization that I'm going to do I'm going to add the uh, read more button I'm also going to display only specific number of words and the other thing is okay I'm going to set a default thumbnail for a post in case it doesn't have a thumbnail so that's the second customization what else I forgot there were three one two mm -mm, I forgot I think I think there were three customizations I was talking about initially mm, what else all right so let's go ahead and do these two I think that's going to be good start so the first okay let's go ahead and begin so what I will do in case if you just want need this child theme I'll leave the repository link github repository link for this specific child theme that I created you can go ahead and change the uh, the screenshot and let's go ahead and have a look so I'm going to close this one first Oops, here we go so what I would like to do for any customization I quickly go ahead and copy all the templates from the parents theme and it could be a templates folder or file I just copy them and paste it over to the child theme and I make the customizations yeah the third thing I was talking about I I will create a specific template for this particular uh, post list uh, view because what WordPress does it uses index.php for displaying uh, what you call archive and posts I don't like that so let's go ahead and do this so these are three things that we are going to do let me go ahead and put it on the sticky Mm -mm -mm. get lost the first thing is read more button the second thing is default thumbnail and the third is a post list mm. template Alrighty. So I was talking about how, why I go ahead and copy the templates and paste in the child theme. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do it. So I'm just going to open this themes folder here. And here we are so I'm going to copy everything from 2020 so I need this template template parts and I also need this footer uh, header index uh, singular search form if you need to screenshot um, comments if you like you can go ahead and copy this folder as well templates so I'm going to I've just selected I just held down the control key and keep clicking on the files and folders that I need to copy over to the child theme so I'm going to copy it and then get into this my child and going to paste it over in here okay so I've got everything it's not going to impact my 
theme that I just activated here. Let's go ahead and my child theme has been activated. You can see it here. So if I go ahead and refresh the view, it's not going to change anything at all. Okay. So why this way? Basically, we get every so we do not need to create everything ourselves. We just need to change if you don't like anything from the parent theme okay so you can see I've got everything here and in case I I want to create this post list template what I'll go ahead and do I will go ahead and uh, this is template part so this is where uh, this is what displays everything so this is by default it's going to be rendered on post list archive post list and so this is going to be I guess on yeah those these two places so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a post list you can name it whatever you want but I I like this way so post list dot php and then go to content here and copy everything from here and it's going to be required so all right so we need to implement this in index.php and this is what I'll go ahead and do so you can see I just copied everything from content.php. I'm just going to make some changes here. So you'll have to be observant here. So what I need, I do not need the full content here. I just need the summary. And summary is going to be. So after making this change, I need to go to index.php and look for when it says while post. This is for archive have posts okay so go to this section and just change this one okay so name that is here I can go ahead and just copy this and go to index and change this to that alrighty so if I come here go to blog it's already been implemented so it's not showing this the full content now it's going to show the summary with also which is also called excerpts and that's the thing that I wanted to implement the other thing I want to add the read more button here and so to do so there is a function which is under the another child theme that I've just created so I'm going to copy over from there so get into here I'm going to just open this folder themes folder and 20 child I'm going to open this in cold another text editor I have here and then go to oops it opened everything so go here and then go to functions I'm really sorry get lost working so now what I need read more button so this is going to add a read more section this is customizable as well if you want to say continue reading you can change this so mm, go to sublime text and then go to your themes and then go to uh, functions here add this section here now view uh, the browser and check if it's been added so it's been added you can see it here now we can go ahead and add some style to it I also have the style so I'm just going to copy it from code and I've got everything here so read more read more read more entry content that's slightly different okay 
go to style.css CSS and put some custom styles here okay so it, it worked now you can see uh, this is completely customizable you can customizable you can go ahead and play with the CSS here okay all right so I guess we added a read more button here what the heck all right so let's go ahead and add the default template sorry default thumbnail so what I've done here if you go ahead and check this templates part it has a section which says feature a file which says featured image so what it says basically if ha uh, if has post thumbnail and doesn't have password required okay so this is kind of logical part of it go ahead and you know is not singular uh, go ahead and pull the thumbnail them in the medium size and here it says PHP the post thumbnail uh, this is for both post and pages so it's going to if but it, it doesn't have the other part in case if it doesn't have so what we need to go ahead and do is simply go ahead and look for this feature dot image dot php and simply say else what so in case doesn't have go ahead and view this portion or this image so i'm going to close that i'm going to put my html here Alrighty, so I can just simply go ahead and say image. Oh, it does work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put everything in a P tag and then A tag and then within this A, I'm going to say image for a reason. So let's go ahead and say I want to people people to be redirected or directed to a specific URL which is going to be default anything you can put anything like whatever you want and then image location here so sorry image the media file locations what I'll do go ahead and do quickly go ahead and take the um, go to media and you can upload any image over here so let's say I want to make this one um, let's say I want to make this one as a default thumbnail so I'll go ahead and copy this one and just put in the source here and save it okay all right also I'm going to put a style So in the style I'm going to say margin auto which is going to display it in the center and uh, text is weird when you have to do inline styling you can do it in this uh, text sorry what do you call it style.css as well margin so it's going to be text line text line center And I'm going to put some texture over here. Sponsored add. All right, now this has been implemented, but I do not have any post with no thumbnail, so I'll quickly go ahead and create one. So since this is, um, sample page did not have any thumbnail so just going to show it here 
so it's going to be working on both uh, posts and pages so let me quickly go ahead and create a post and show you if it's really working I need some meat content the text so let's go ahead and copy it from here let's go ahead and create a new post with no thumbnail I'm sorry I ju just need to restart my server it's it's loading a bit slower all right so testing default thumbnail yeah so i'm not going to upload any image here i'm going to publish it now if i go ahead and click it view it okay so it's not going to show the the default thumbnail that i just added to in else clause on the featured image template so we are all done guys i'm going to make it done alrighty so that's it for this video i'm just quickly going to create a repository upload it and leave the link here in the description so you simply can just copy so download it and use it in your project if you need to so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any question leave in the comment below also if you need any help with wordpress install um, installation or on the cpanel go ahead and watch videos on my channel i will leave hopefully the links in the description as well that's it for this video again have a good day bye for now